Allah still calls upon you. He says, my slave, even if you come to me with the worst of sins and just once ask for my forgiveness, I will forgive you. Allah says, my slave, even if you come to me with just a hand span, I will come to you with an arm's length. Even if you come to me walking, I will come to you running. He says, oh, my slave, when you remember me, I remember you. And even when you forget me, I still remember you. Brothers and sisters, we have so many shortcomings in front of Allah. This is not about us versus them or about different nations or communities. It's about you and me right now. We have been given so much by Allah, yet what have we done in return? Let us reflect on the immense mercy and love that Allah has for us. Let us turn to him with sincere repentance, seeking his forgiveness and guidance. And let us strive to fulfill our purpose. May Allah shower his mercy upon us and guide us to be among those who constantly seek his forgiveness and work towards earning his pleasure. In the talks of Allah's mercy, my brothers and sisters, I want to share a hadith with you, narrated by Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah has divided mercy into 100 parts. He kept 99 parts with him and sent down one part to the earth. Through this one part, creatures show mercy to one another and even the mare lifts up its hoof away from its baby animal, lest it should trample on it. This hadith beautifully illustrates the abundance of Allah's mercy. It demonstrates that the mercy we witness in this world, among humans and even animals, is merely a fraction of Allah's overall mercy. His mercy is beyond measure, encompassing all of creation. This hadith reminds us that Allah's mercy is ever-present and His compassion extends to every aspect of our lives. It encourages us to seek Allah's mercy and to show mercy and kindness to others, mirroring the divine mercy we have been blessed with. May we always strive to emulate Allah's mercy in our interactions and may we seek His mercy and forgiveness in all aspects of our lives.